Welcome to 2MinEnglish.com, teaching you English through two-minute lessons. In this lesson, you will learn about the idiom dead meat and how it is used. Dead meat is an idiom that is sometimes used to threaten someone. It means that the person will be doomed or ruined. Threatening is never a nice thing to do, but suppose I'm threatening you. I would say, you are dead meat, Seth. That is correct, but it is just an example, right? Of course, I didn't mean it. However, if Dad finds out that you're smoking, you are dead meat. I'll handle Dad. So the idiom may be used to speak of imminent danger or some trouble that might be approaching. Yes, that's it. The idiom means that someone will be severely punished somehow. Okay. Now let's listen to some conversations to understand how to use it. Good idea. Jack got completely wasted yesterday. Yeah, he shouldn't have drank that much. I heard he was so drunk that he tried to get into his neighbor's house by mistake. Isn't his neighbor a cop? Yup. Man, this time Jack is dead meat. Amy, are you talking to Anthony again? Uh, yes. Why? You forget Dad's warning. That Anthony's a bad apple. It wasn't my fault. He called me from a different number. You're dead meat if Dad finds out. Amy, why are you so upset today? I forgot to study for the history exam, and I think I flunked. Are you serious? If you fail this test, you're dead meat. You won't graduate. I really blew it this time. It was foolish not to study, but there's always next year. You are dead meat, Zach. However, if Dad finds out that you're smoking, you are dead meat. Man, this time Jack is dead meat. You're dead meat if Dad finds out. If you fail this test, you're dead meat. 